All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at finding the density of a ceramic. Um, main difference here between that and the metals is um, now we're going to go ahead and keep track of different types of ions when we're looking at the unit cell. So let's take a look at the sodium chloride structure. And you can see here in this structure, we've got uh, chlorides at the corners in the center of faces. So they're similar to FCC type sites. Uh, but the chlorides are no longer close packed and that is they're not actually touching because in between them we've got sodiums and I'll show you in another slide in a space filling view that this causes the chlorides to expand a little bit so that they're no longer touching like they would be if this was a close packed uh, face centered cubic structure. All right so one of the things we're going to need is the number of atoms or ions in this case in the unit cell and this entire structure shown here is the um, is the unit cell so if we look at the chlorides we said they're in face centered cubic type sites so that means we're going to have four total ions okay so each of the corners count as one eighth and each of the faces count as one half and so we've got eight corners so that's one and then we've got six faces that makes three, so three and one is four. All right, what about the sodiums? Well, from the, from the structure, we expect a one-to-one -one ratio, so we better end up with four sodium ions because this unit cell needs to ha have electron neutrality. But let's go ahead and take a look at that. Edge sites all count as a quarter, right? They're gonna be shared with four other unit cells. And then we've got this one here in the middle that's completely in so that counts as one all right so what do we have we've got four um, edge atoms per layer and there's three layers so that's 12 edge atoms times one quarter plus the one full atom in the center all right and so that's four all right so that works out so we got four chloride and four sodium um, to sum up in our unit cell. So the next thing we're going to need to find the density is we need to know what this lattice parameter A is so that we can get the volume. Right? We know the number of ions in there now so with their atomic weights we can get the, the number of grams and if we know what the lattice parameter A is then we can do A cubed to pull off the volume. And so we're starting to get close to grams per volume, which is a density term. All right, so here's the space filling view. So again, you can see in the space filling view that the chlorides aren't, are not touching, right? Again, in the pure face-centered cubic, the close pack structure, without the sodiums here, if this was, say, copper, then we would see them touching along the face diagonals. So in the uh, face-centered cubic structure, we found last time that when they are touching along the face diagonals, we would have something like four times the radius is equal to the square root two times A, the lattice parameter. Since they're not touching, we can't do that anymore. So we need to look at a direction they are touching. And here they are. And this makes things actually much easier because the direction they're touching is our lattice parameter A that we're looking for. And so we have the radius of chloride, right? We've got two times the radius of sodium and then another radius of chloride. And so that tells us our lattice parameter. So two times the radius of the chloride and plus two times the radius of the sodium ion. Okay, well, so that that's easy enough. So let's go ahead and put that together and see what we get. So we're going to go ahead and sum the uh, over the different number of um, uh, ions that we have, right? And we said we have four chlorides and we have four sodiums. So that's what our sum is going to be. So N is four in both cases. So we've got four times their atomic weight. So 22.9 for the sodium. And then we've got four chlorides and 35.45 uh, grams per mole 
for the atomic weight of the chloride. Okay, so that's the total grams per mole that we have in our uh, unit cell. Um, then we want to go ahead and we could divide by Avogadro's number. This is going to be the number of atoms per mole. Okay. So then this gives us a grams per atom when I take a look at this. And these units on these guys was actually atoms. Should have had that in there. So atoms times grams per mole. So now when we convert to grams per atom times atom, we have grams. So, so far we have grams. So now all we need is a volume. And there's the volume of our unit cell right here. Okay, A cubed. And we're given the radius of the sodium and the radius of chloride. And we said that A was equal to two times the radius uh, of both summed together. So we go ahead and sum those and then we cube it and we go ahead and follow the units here. This is going to end up being in centimeters cubed and so we end up with 2.14 grams per centimeter cubed. And experimentally we see something like 2.16 so this is pretty close. So we did a pretty good job here.